Now we're working new details tonight on a deadly attack we've been tracking since early this morning. One woman is killed, another wounded, and an officer shot following a violent home invasion and an ambush on police. Now it all unfolded on Cape Cod overnight on Roundhouse Road in Bourne, seen here. This afternoon, the suspected gunman faced the judge in Falmouth District Court. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Plinder is live in Falmouth now with the developing details. Mike Shannon, good evening. Police say the suspect is a Coast Guardsman stationed in Virginia. The two female victims, Coast Guards women stationed out here on the Cape. Police say he went after the women, then set a trap for them. 31-year-old Adrian Loya of Virginia arraigned at Falmouth District Court Thursday on eight counts, including murder and attempted murder, following sheer chaos at a condo complex on Roundhouse Road in Bourne early Thursday. It was a home invasion. Uh, it certainly was an ambush of the police officers, and it was a home invasion with respect to the two adult female victims. One woman dead, another injured but alive, a born police officer shot allegedly by Loya in the back. The officer and victim both being treated in Rhode Island, both expected to recover. The DA says at around 2.15 a.m., officers found an engulfed car at the top of Roundhouse Road and heard shots fired in the distance. They proceeded on foot, but were soon pinned down by a barrage of bullets on the other end, an arsenal of weapons. Without being uh, too specific, there were three long rifles as well as a handgun that uh, he was heavily armed with. Also, allegedly, incendiary devices scattered around. All of a sudden, you know, one of the worst things that you train for occurs and you hope that the training kicks in and the officers respond appropriately. But it's a dangerous job and the officers know uh, that this is, you know, a possibility. Police took Loya at gunpoint. Now, there ha what has been acknowledged is a pre-existing rela relationship between Loya and the women, though the nature of that has not been disclosed. By the way, according to the DA, today is Loya's birthday. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from his attorney. Live in Falmouth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News. Now, a deadly attack on Cape Cod. One woman is dead, a police officer, and another woman are injured. Investigators say the suspect, Adrian Loya, knew both women and went after them. Then, set up a trap for police, a burning car, incendiary devices, and lots of ammunition. Both survivors are being treated at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, the Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to the chaotic scene on Roundhouse Road in Bourne. Iowa News reporter Jared Pliner is live on the Cape right now in Falmouth with information from the suspect's lawyer that's new at six. Mike Shannon, good evening. The arraignment behind me here at Fal uh, Falmouth District Court. The defendant wearing different clothing than at the time of the arrest. His attorney says that is tied to the investigation. Not long. The length of time 31-year-old Adrian Loya of Virginia was on the Cape before allegedly invading a home, murdering a woman, injuring another, ambushing responding police, and shooting an officer in the back. The wounded expected to recover. It was pre-dawn chaos on Roundhouse Road in Bourne. Police pinned down by incoming fire and unknown devices scattered around. Drew Segadelli on his client's state. Talks a fair word. Loya, a Coast Guardsman stationed in Virginia, the two female victims, also Coast Guard, stationed on the Cape. He's assimilating out of the Coast Guard at this time. There's no mention of dishonorable. How did he know these women? There was some, some type of relationship, and other than recognizing that or acknowledging that, I wouldn't want to go any further than that at this time. Segadelli says Loya, who will undergo a competency evaluation, has no criminal record. The court file stacking up against him is under seal. And there's good, valid uh, reasons to do that, uh, which will come to light probably in the near future. According to the DA, Loya's birthday is today. Well, he'll be spending it behind bars without bail. His next court appearance should be in late March. Live in Falmouth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Plutter, Eyewitness News.